Hi everyone, welcome back to Fertility Friday, our educational video series on infertility related topics. Last time we talked about the initial consult and also the initial infertility workup, um, which includes the HSG, the semen analysis, and ovarian reserve testing. In the next series of videos, we'll look through the components of the infertility evaluation in a little bit more detail. And today we'll start with ovarian reserve testing. Ovarian reserve is a term that we use to describe the remaining egg supply and fertility potential that a woman has. The first test we'll talk about is AFC, which stands for antrophological count. The antrophological is a small fluid-filled sac that contains an immature egg within it. The total number of follicles we are able to count is called the antrophological count. The higher the number of follicles, the better the ovarian reserve, and the lower the number of follicles, the lower the ovarian reserve. The ideal time to count the follicle number is at the beginning of the cycle, such as cycle day two to four, and the antral follicle count can also give us an estimate of how many eggs we may retrieve with fertility treatments such as IVF. The next test we'll talk about is AMH. AMH stands for anti-mullerian hormone, and it is made by the cells that line the smallest follicles within the ovary. The more the follicles, the higher the AMH, and the better the ovarian reserve, Similarly, the lower the follicle number, the lower the AMH, and the lower the ovarian reserve. It is often the most convenient test to test for ovarian reserve just because it is not cycle day dependent and it can be checked at any point in the cycle. The last test for ovarian reserve is cycle day two to four FSH. Each month at the beginning of the cycle, the brain produces FSH, which stands for follicle stimulating hormone. FSH will then travel through the bloodstream and reach the ovaries and stimulate the ovaries to grow and mature a follicle and the egg within it. This follicle will eventually ovulate a mature egg. By looking at the FSH at the beginning of the cycle, we can determine how hard the brain has to work to stimulate the ovary. We don't want the brain to be working too hard to stimulate the ovary and therefore we want the FSH to be low. If the FSH is high, usually above 10 to 12, that tells us the brain is working too hard and ultimately reflects a lower ovarian reserve. Fertility specialists will often use a combination of these fertility tests to best assess a woman's ovarian reserve, but to also help guide treatment decisions. We'll also use these values to tailor the best dosage when patients are going through fertility treatments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give us a like, comment below. You can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.